Sheboygan police discover hidden body in a crawl space. Sheboygan County hunters harvest over 1,000 deer opening weekend. Prosecutors file child abuse charges after toddler's death. These stories and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. Sheboygan police launched an investigation after a body was found in a crawl space at a home on Michigan Avenue Tuesday afternoon. Sergeant Andy Cundinger says they received a phone call Sunday afternoon that someone may have overdosed at a home in the 1300th block of Michigan Avenue. Officers responded and conducted a search but did not locate anyone inside of the home. On Tuesday afternoon around 4.30, police received a new tip saying that the body of the overdose victim may be hidden inside of the home. Officers returned to the home where they found the body of a 30-year-old man hidden in an old crawl space. A 29-year-old woman is being held on a probation hold and police are asking anyone with information to contact them. Right now, they believe that the death is consistent with an overdose and have scheduled an autopsy for Wednesday morning. Sheboygan police are looking for a man they believe has broken into a number of homes and businesses on the north side of town recently. Officers were up on the city's north side handing out wanted posters for Michael Kahn's Jr., he is 5'11", just over 200 pounds, and the wanted poster says if you have any information concerning this man, call police or 911. Police are not releasing much information yet. And the saga of the Sheboygan Armory continues. The Common Council voted Monday in three separate resolutions to end the agreement with the Armory Community Project renegotiate a contract for the sale and development of the land and move towards with a request for bids for demolition. In the lengthy discussion about the armory, several alders reminded those present that these votes are not sealed the fate of armory, but are merely ending the current agreement with the armory community project and exploring how much to demolishing the building would cost. Wildlife officials say that the 2018 gun deer season is off to a successful start. More than 118,000 deer were harvested over opening weekend across the state, up more than 13,000 from last year. Hunters in Sheboygan County harvest a total of 1,084 deer during opening weekend, and the Department of Natural Resources sold nearly 600,000 gun deer licenses this season. Results of an autopsy have led Manitowoc County prosecutors to charge two babysitters with felonies. The autopsy of the three-year-old boy showed he died of complications after suffering severe internal injuries. Police say that their investigation determined that Eduardo Gomez and Jamie Schrank were using meth while they were taking care of the child while his mother was at work. The victim was brought to a hospital July 28th and required surgery, then died at Wisconsin Children's Hospital. The crimes could carry a life sentence upon conviction. Early estimates are showing a large price tag for next year's state budget. A report from the Department of Administration says that if every budget request was passed, the state would be short $1.1 billion over the next two years. State agencies submitted $2.2 billion worth of increases, despite Governor Walker's request for no spending increases. 
Most of that increase came from the Department of Public Instruction after Walker advocated for paying for two-thirds of school spending while on campaign trial. Representative John Nigren and Senator Alberta Darling, who led the Joint Finance Committee, stressed that these are just requests and are not necessarily making it into the budget. The brand new Wisconsin 4-H license plate is now available for your car, truck, or motorhome. This specialty plate is now available through the Wisconsin Department Motor Vehicles and bears the message 4-H Empowering Youth. The sale of each license plate will contribute a monetary contribution to the Wisconsin 4-H Foundation. This is a great way for our 4-H families, alumni, and supporters to show their 4-H pride, says Brenda Scheider, Executive Director for the Wisconsin 4-H Foundation. Half of every proceed from every plate sale will go back to the county in which the plate was purchased. The other half will be used for state and regional 4-H programs. And in our last story, University of Wisconsin Marching Band Director Mike Lecrone is reflecting on his upcoming final home game before retiring. Lecrone says that the decision was very difficult, but he wanted to make it to 50 years leading the band and to leave on a high note. The 82-year-old announced his retirement at the start of the season to come to the decision knowing what it meant for me to give up things that I really enjoy doing. That was hard, he told WKOW-TV. There is kind of a sense of relief, too, that I can see the end of the road, but I'm not dreading it, to tell you the truth. The Badgers host Minnesota on Saturday at Camp Randall Stadium, and the band will likely make one more appearance under Lecron during a bowl game later this year. Lecrone says he will stay on through the spring and will lead the band's annual spring concert at the Cole Center. The university is conducting a nationwide search for its next band director. And we will be back next week with another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.